What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Mic drop! Guys, I picked this up. It's by Comica. It's a cardioid condenser light microphone. As you have seen on my channel before, I have shown you some cardi or uh, cardioid microphones, but also some stuff from Comica. Now, I have never tried uh, the microphone like this from them. I have used them primarily to pick up different types of lavalier mics, which I absolutely have really, really loved. Um, it is actually the lavalier mic that I use when I'm connecting to my iPhone here when I'm shooting some video outside and whatnot, but I wanted to check this out because this seemed like kind of a whole nother level of convenience. And because I've been so happy with kind of their products here in the past, I thought, why not try out this microphone? Now, as you can see, it's much larger. It's about the size of a corn dog. Uh, it's really beautiful. This red piece here, this kind of spider webbed piece here is uh, like a plastic, but it's a little bit of a soft plastic. You can see Comica right here. It's actually really, really light. You can see we have a, a, a shoe right here that'll fit into the top of your DSLR, into a camera stand. You've got a uh, tightening nut right there. Uh, you have a switch here to go between camera and smart device. V30 light is on the back, an expandable or extending cable in a, in a one, two, three, four pull. Um, three and a half millimeter audio plug there. So what this will do here is I think it'll pick up audio in the direction that it's facing. So you could use it on a camera, but this uh, four pole plug here kind of means that with the right adapter, you could use it on just about anything. So I'm pretty curious if I could get one to USB-C to use with my Osmo Pocket, uh, to use with um, my iPhone, which I really love those. And so this is a way I could actually take, you know, shots, with my iPhone and hopefully get more focused and better audio quality. So we're gonna try it out here. I'm gonna try shooting with just the built-in microphone as well as this Comica microphone. And let's see if you can hear the difference. All right guys, so I'm outside here. I've got the Comica microphone pointed at me and I'm about five feet away from the camera here. And just wanted to see what it's like here. And it's pretty breezy, pretty windy out right now. In fact, I'm seeing the microphone move around a little bit. That's why I'm kind of getting in there to see if I can uh, brace it if need be. But as I back up here, just kind of curious, you know, I'm only speaking in my, basically my normal talking voice. Again, outside, I can hear road noise and whatnot over here. And this is a test, you know, I'm about 10 feet away from the microphone at this point and just seeing how well this works. It works really well. Back up another five feet here. Um, it might be nice to find an adapter for this to use with my Osmo Pocket as well. So you be the judge. Maybe we'll try picking up some audio and a few other things here too and just keep testing this bad boy out all right so i'm playing around with it here a little bit and i want to show you kind of a really small test here but i think it actually shows decently the difference of using kind of my onboard microphone on my camera here and the comica so this is a test this is the audio quality that i'm recording uh, with just the built-in camera microphones all right so now i've gone ahead and plugged in the comica microphone right here and uh, just speaking into it i'm only about a foot away from the microphone uh in turn but um you know try to talk in exactly the same voice and i think you can see that there's a bit of difference you know especially at this close range there shouldn't be that much difference between the built-in microphones and an external microphone as we get further away and we get noise and wind and things like that it's going to be more pronounced but i just wanted to do this quick little comparison Who knows where this road is So 
hopefully there you can see. I just think it's isolating the source of the audio better, capturing a richer, fuller sound. Now you can balance the volume all you want in post, but I think this is a great add-on for not a lot of money for capturing audio without having to carry around lavalier microphones or set up boom microphones. So this one, which plugs into a number of things, is a great product and at a great price. I'll put a link to the microphone in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.